Well, the new event trailer just got dropped for the Urban Assault Collection event by Respawn themselves, and we now have many patch notes that I'm pretty excited about, and a lot of information about this with new features coming as well. Honestly, every now and then, Respawn has events that are a little scummy and a lot of skins just for no reason, and then they have events that are actually fun and I'm pretty excited about, and this is one of those events that look actually fun so if you haven't seen the trailer already it's playing in the background for you big shout out to glitch energy for sponsoring today's video they've been supporting the channel for so freaking long at this point so if you guys want to get 20 percent discounts on all of your purchases over there not just the drinks itself but apparel whatever the case may be cups the link is down in the description and you can use code jmiles to get your 20 percent discount but we've got a lot of features to talk about in this one as well first off let's start it off with these little patch notes that they put out you can see that there is going to be new store rotations, and I'll show you on screen April 23rd through April 27th. You'll see this store rotation with the Techwear Tough Bundle, the Suburban Ranger Bundle. That will be in store for the entire duration of this. Then you have some of these other things that swap out, right? The Phoenix Rising Bundle for Horizon, the Noxious Nobleman Bonus Bundle from Caustic, and then the Amethyst Bundle for Bangalore as well. A couple of other, you know, epic stuff going on over on the right side. But once again, you move over to April 27th through the 30th. You've got the Hothead Bundle for Octane the Envious Attitude Bundle for Seer, and the Healing Huntress for Lifeline as well. Once again, new epic stuff on the right side. April 30th through May 4th, you've got the Majestic Tracker Bundle for Bloodhound, the Court Executioner Bundle for Gibraltar. Then you've got Deadly Relic Bundle for Revenant and more epic stuff over on the right side. May 4th through May 7th, you've got the same bundles on the top, more epics on the right, but then Search and Destroy Bundle for Pathfinder, Eternal Rain Bonus Bundle for Ash, and the Animal Instinct Bundle or fuse then of course we're getting the apex riptide octane prestige skin tier one two and three along with his new finisher as well known as death dive so this is honestly a pretty cool execution and i think it's probably one of my favorites the skin itself maybe not one of my favorites but i do like the idea that they're still doing prestige skins and they did also say that all 24 items will be available in exchange for apex coins or crafting medals in the urban assault collection event not a gamble event thankfully like the last time we had of course here's also a cycle of many of the skins i really really like the loba skin i think that the vantage skin is mid i think that the valken rampart skin looked pretty good as well also i actually do like the weapon skins that they're adding with these especially the hemlock for the rampart one also wanted to make mention the thing in this trailer that probably was our biggest takeaway apex rumble they put on their patch notes page that this is in beta they said you think you've got what it takes to be at the top welcome to the apex rumble beta the beginning of an exciting new way to compete that we hope to evolve with your feedback as i mentioned in a previous video this will evolve into something bigger this all new asynchronous tournament system allows you to test your skills against your competition while earning points to climb the leaderboards against similarly skilled competitors notice the terminology they use this is not just rumble this is not just a game mode just like i always ask for this is what they quote a tournament system that's why it's going to evolve into something bigger i cannot wait to see their end game with this and i'm so glad it's finally here points are awarded for your placement kills assists and damage once an apex rumble has concluded rewards will be based on your overall placement apex rumble kicks off with the urban assault rumble where you'll jump into three strikes matches there are no pre-made squads here just you your skills and a ton of flying bullets should you choose to re-enter the fray the legend tokens to reset your score and charge back into battle it's a whole new way to play so get ready to rumble legend keep an eye on the apex legend social channels for the kickoff dates now we kind of do have these kickoff dates somewhat if you have not seen this already Rindo had put out about a week ago that these apex cups were coming with special awards round one should be starting april 24th round two should be starting may the third the game mode will be three strikes with no pre-made squads as we discussed but apparently your account must be higher than level 20 to play as well so basically like a rank system type thing cross play has to be enabled in order to play according to crowd rindo and i really hope that that is true because i think that's the direction we need to go in general for apex in order to get more game modes to be playable i know console players probably not gonna be a big fan of that but i think that we really need to go in that direction just for the biggest player base possible now another follow-up with this is that there was a brand new scoreboard dedicated for this mode and as they said in the patch notes but they didn't give a detail this is coming from crowd rindo that the round one scoring system will work as follows placement one so if you get first place you get 120 points in the game if you go second place 115 points it goes down by five points all the way third fourth fifth sixth seventh you know continuously goes down by five points until you get to 12th place then you get your 65 points 
12th to 13th is no longer a five point deduction it is a 15 point deduction so you go from 13th all the way to 20th we'll get 50 points for placement and then you also get points for additionals like kills assist or damage done 7.5 points for a kill seven points for assist and 0 0.035 points for damage done so it seems like there's a way to incentivize as long as you play good you should get the points that you deserve so it's not just about placement it's not just about kills hopefully it's a good medium balance between both of those and i cannot wait to see this stuff go down now one of the things that were kind of confusing for me is that when you look at the leaderboard based on crowd windows post a couple of days ago this looks like something you would see like your team or maybe even your your name or something along the lines in this leaderboard considering there's no pre-made squads right so i would think you would see the player id or something along those lines on this leaderboard however on the trailer you could see their leaderboard is a little bit different so i'm wondering if this is a different idea or a different concept or maybe it was just placeholders right there was team octane there was team horizon team all of this stuff so i'm kind of confused on how that's all going to work out but a little bit of a teaser that we got which i thought was very interesting apex by the way you know they're just leaking it themselves at this point so there was an actual alter on these top 10 players so you can see alter most likely the new legend unless they're just trying to hype something up maybe they're just trying to deter us away from the truth but alter not only on the leaked footage from the new season that we saw the for game informer but also this new trailer has alter in it as well so i love how much they're kind of leaking this stuff out themselves honestly it always gets leaked anyway so i kind of like the approach of just doing it themselves and just kind of teasing everything now of course on top of this we also had in the patch notes that three strikes will be separate and so you should still be able to play the normal three strikes mode as well they said three strikes ltm will be returning and it is back with a vengeance and updates for our mid-season patch the revive time has now been reduced to 2.0 seconds players revived with 100 health and zero percent shields new minimum guaranteed loot system ensures you respawn with a competitive version of your loadout and inventory so i am very excited to see all of this stuff return back into the game as well now just a little bit of a side note according to hyper Mist, there was supposed to be an update coming actually today inside of the game and also crowd rindo had said there was a new apex patch that was planned for tomorrow however there was an update to this crowd rindo said that for whatever reason it got postponed to April the 22nd, 2099. So not sure what in the world they are doing. But all things considered, guys, I gotta say, this looks like one of the best events I think we have seen in quite some time. One of my biggest takeaways is the fact that they're actually calling this a tournament style system. And I think eventually we are going to get to some more ALGS style tournaments inside the game. There'll probably be some sort of leaderboard with them as well. And do the idea of Apex doing these cash cups eventually or something with heirlooms or some big prize to where it really gets streamers involved every single friday we can look forward to the 10k cash cup or the 5k even a 2k even a 1k cash up 500 dollars i'll be cool with i just think the idea is limitless and i cannot wait to see us get there eventually let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comment section below about all the topics mentioned in today's video how do you feel about this new event and make sure to check out glitchenergy.com down below and use code jmiles to get your 20 percent discount thanks for sponsoring today's video and until the next time we'll see you all later gators